What's going on guys, Matt over here, Lethal Garage, and today I finally have a new install for LT LS style cars. Finally, right, right? So if you have a 1LT or an LS, your car did not come with a spoiler. GM secretly, they never really announced it, it just kind of started appearing on cars, but they made a high wing spoiler for your car. And Matt over at uh, that Camaro parts guy sold this part here, and we're gonna be installing it on this beautiful car here. now. There's a few things that you have to do to make this work. Now, as you know, the car has no holes in it, so you are gonna have to drill holes into your trunk. Kind of scary for some people. Not me though, I cut into Camaros all the time, right? So there's quite a few holes that you have to drill. I believe it's uh, three, four, what, five, six, seven, seven holes total. Uh, gonna need um, 10 millimeter 2564 and a 1930 second bit. We've already lined up the deck lid, so it does come with a template, so you know where you're drilling your holes. And the trunk is already set up to accept a spoiler, so there's little black caps on the underside that you can see. So your first, first step, which I'm not showing us doing because we already did it, you basically just line up your template. So you have your center point, it's gonna line up flush with the trunk, it's gonna line up flush edge to edge. And the biggest clue to know that your center is there's these little tabs right here, and it, they wrap around your tail light, your center mark it makes it really dummy proof like seriously it really is so we're gonna start drilling holes into this car and get this bad boy installed you ready for me to drill holes in your car he's not ready <laughs> so got the first bit in place this is a nice steel bit it does have a center mark so it makes it a little easier to line up and the hard part is just getting enough pressure so it doesn't shift now in this instance, I do have tape down to hopefully help with paint flaking. What I would highly recommend you do, go to your dealership, get some touch up paint, because we are gonna have exposed metal corners and you're gonna wanna cut the, cover those up so you don't get uh, rusting. Potential rust issues. Nobody wants rust, right? Committed. <laughs> I hate doing that. Okay, there you go, first hole in. Now we only have one more of this size. All the rest are much larger and there's lots of flakes so I kind of want to get rid of all of that before I start drilling anything else because I don't want vibration scratching the trunk. So we're going to get rid of this. that side. This side. I apologize, I'm gonna blow this on your pants. Those holes actually look really clean. So we drilled out the, the two smaller ones first. Got my comfort level like that much higher. It was what it was there, now it's here out of a scale like that. Uh, but taped it all back down. The one thing that I wanted to do is I lifted everything up, just untaped the front edge to get all the shavings that came off. There was a lot of metal shavings up underneath. I just didn't want those to vibrate down and potentially scrape the trunk. That's not cool. So got rid of them and now we're ready to drill. Big holes. Big bit.
Sweet. So what you saw me there is I just removed the liner from the interior trunk. Just a whole bunch of pop clips or tree clips is what I call them. But that's mainly to get to the holds so we can put the bolt into the center. And yeah, the other holes are three here, three there, and then the one in the center. And then the other two holes that we drilled are for the plastic clips. So his car's silver, but because he doesn't, he didn't have touch up paint from the dealership, we're actually using my white touch-up paint and what we're doing is we're just putting a little bit of paint on the edges because this this is raw metal on the edges and I don't want it to rust so we're putting a nice coat of paint on there just to protect it and I'm swirling the best I can on the inside and the outside to prevent any oh gosh that would happen in my center the cabinet that's open the cabinet next to it in front of my car there's like throwaway microfiber cloths, three different colors. Yeah, just grab one of those blue ones. And I would drip, because I'm a fail painter. Fun in the sun. Just using the heat gun to get the paint to set up because we don't have all night and it's like 50 degrees outside right now. Okay, so now this is the point where we put the spoiler on the car. There's a big thick plastic clip that goes on your center bolt snaps in there you have your two plastic ones here and then the three bolts on the outside edge those are the ones that we're going to tighten right now let's do it Apologies that it's dark and you guys won't get really get to see a really good angle of the car with it on, but she's squared up on there, looking good. Again, this is the high rise. I posted an images about this a while ago, but it's not a blade spoiler. It kind of has the same design as mine, the ACS one. So it has a nice little lift above the rear haunch and it goes up at a nice up angle across the back so it's about as high as the blade spoiler but it's not a bait spoiler it's a high wing I guess high rise high high whatever so that is the full install of the LTLS high wing again if you starting with an LTLS trunk you do have to drill holes in here now this car was ceramic coated uh, some of the things to keep in mind there things don't like to stick to ceramic coat all that well so if anything, this, this spoiler does have a nice rubber outline across the whole bottom side. So once it's bolted on, it creates a nice tight seal. So hopefully water doesn't get in there. Uh, when we drilled the holes, I did use paint to seal the edges so that we don't have potential rust with the steel on the trunk. So that's nice and taken care of. Uh, and we use the heat gun to dry it because obviously I can't wait 24 hours for it to dry. And uh, it was nice and dry. Uh, but the install, I would say it's fairly simple if you can get past drilling holes in your steel of your car. Uh, use tape where you're drilling your holes so you can reduce uh, paint flaking. Uh, it can happen. The other thing that I will say is when we were drilling holes, uh, the even the brand new tips with a sharp uh, center 
wanted to slip on us. So, and that was even after getting through the plastic templates. So um, just some of the, the issues with the install per se, but overall it turned out really great. I, I don't think we marred your car too much. It's your car, what'd you think? I love it. It's Did good? <laughs> the holes weren't too intrusive um, and it all panned out. So it looks good, it mounted great, and that is the install completed. So thanks for checking out this video. If you guys have questions, post in the comments below. If not, likes, comments, shares are appreciated. But until next time or next video, hope to see you on the road.